quick out of the blocks, Glenn, and uh, just, just didn't let up at all tonight. He must be delighted with that performance. Yeah, I think the start set us off, and it's something we've spoken about. We wanted to start well, and I think you know, if we look at the game last Friday where she was in the balance at half time, I think the start today sort of pushed us on, um, and then the real challenge was to back that up. And with accurate execution, I guess, to that end, largely speaking, maybe until the sort of final quarter, you Yeah, I like look really happy with the detail the boys put in, and it's been our big focus this, year, this week was really looking at some of the small parts of the game and making you know, some improvements there. And to be honest, the boys, you know, we've trained a day and they've managed to you know, sharpen those things up. So testament to them in the work they've been doing. One major negative appears to be the injury to your captain. What can you tell us about that? I hit a bank to the knee, so um, as you do, the, the docs will look at it and um, we'll get a report. But uh, you know, he had to come off, so that's a that's a real shame. But um, you know, we'll look after him as, as well as we can, just get everything done, and we'll probably find out tomorrow exactly what the extent of it is. White box don't come off for injury, though. No, not normally, not normally. So he's had a bang. Um, look, you know, was, uh, he couldn't continue, so that's that was clear. So um, you know, we'll, we'll circle the wagons around him tomorrow and uh, um, have a good look at it and uh, come up with a plan. Uh, can you talk about uh, Tom Bateman's performance tonight? Or is that standing on the field? He's like a fine wine, isn't he? He just keeps getting better and better. And uh, you know, you put the hammer down there in the middle of the pitch and showed the young fellas that he's still got the pace, which is uh, fantastic. But look, he's been a real, real calming influence in that back line. And um, you know, the performance of him and Rob today in the centres, I thought, really helps those guys on the outside. And um, they give him a lot of confidence. And when he's playing as well as he is uh, at the moment for us, you know, look, it's, uh, he's enjoying his rugby. So. You know, we just want to keep him fit, healthy and, um, and performing. So, yeah, really happy with him tonight. Um, good effort from our back division. I think the attack was, was really sharp. Given that storm week, and obviously when you get out to a big lead, it helps when you can go to the bench nice and early. Yeah, and look, the great thing is we've got a lot of faith in that bench. Huge amount of faith in it, and they come on and they do a job for us. And even when we, we're sort of mixing and matching, putting guys in positions they haven't had a lot of, uh, lot of time, and um, things keep functioning. So, they're working really hard. We've got a really good squad. You know, we're, we're enjoying that. We need the squad. It's been proven that um, you know, it's, it's not not a 15-man job at all. So uh, you know, we're really happy to use them all. Do you envision making quite a few changes or for the Wellington game? Or I've said that the the period of the storm that we treat every game in, in isolation, and um, what we do now is we get a lot of recovery and see how guys are presented. If people are, are not right to play, they won't play. Um, and as I say, we'll just get the best team out to deal with Wellington. Who look, they're playing really well at the minute. They're a real handful. They've got some great game breakers and. Uh, you know, it's going to be a tough challenge for us up there on their home patch, so uh, we're going to make sure that we've got the right men out there to, to do the job for us.